Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So today we're going to figure out how tall this new Castle Gray Skull actually is. So I printed it out so we can go ahead and figure this out. And so let's go ahead and do some math on this. So the first thing is to figure out how tall she is. So let's figure that out. And she is approximately, let's see, an inch and a half. So you can see there she is an inch and a half tall from foot to bottom. So I'll make a note of that. 1.5. Now, if you notice, I kind of took the liberty to already take and stack her up on the sides. And you can see she's about three and a little more as tall as the castle is. And again, you can see there's three of her stacked up and a little bit more right here. But just for kicks, let's check it mathematically and see. And so I'm taking and measuring this right here for the castle. And we're getting, let's see, about 480 depending on where you measure. So let's make a note of that, that the castle is 4.8. Let's go ahead and see how many times 1.5 goes into 4.8. 4.8 divided by 1.5. So, 3.2. So, approximately 3, which we have right here, 1, 2, 3, and a fifth of one more figure. So, I have my castle here, and this is the old one from the 80s, obviously. And so we're looking to see how tall this castle is. So I'm guessing these figures right here are the same size as um, the sorceress figure, right? So if we're to take one of these and measure its height, we could then multiply it by 3.2 and it'll tell us how tall the new castle is. Or I can carefully stack up three figures and one more fifth to find out how tall the new castle is. So let's, let's just do the math. So let's go ahead and measure her. I'll just grab this teether right here. We'll measure her out from her foot to her top of her head. And she is 5.63. 5.63. So I guess they're not quite five and a half, are they? 5.63. So uh, let's make a note of that. Tila equals 5.63. So we'll multiply that by 3.2. 5.63 times 3.2. And it gives us 18.016. We'll just go with 18. That's probably about the size they'd make it. So now let's go ahead and compare 18 inches next to the real castle. And just to see where that comes out at. So 18 inches, it's pretty comparable. It's about the same height as our original castle was from the 80s. Like, look, it's exactly 18 inches right to this piece right here. So we're looking at about the same size castle we had when we were kids. So look at that, you can see right here again, comes up right to 18. All right, there we go. So there we go. So the new Origins Castle is the same size as our original Ames Castle. Now, I was kind of hoping it would be bigger because we know that Battle Cat is a little bigger and it just seems like they would have just done the same thing with the other ones too, just to make them a little bigger, just to see uh, how big they really are. But it looks like it's gonna be the same size. All right, well, that's all I got. I was just curious how big it would be, but I guess it's the same size. Now there are some other differences too in this castle, as you can tell, like this dome is rounded and our old castle, it's actually pointed on top. And some other shape issues too. Like you can see like right here. This floor didn't exist in the original one. Um, and uh, this floor is raised like I mentioned yesterday. 
And this door, let's see how tall this is, just for kicks. Erp. So the door is, let's see, it is a little over an inch and a half. So when it comes to uh, your action figures, we saw she was an inch and a half. Just for kicks, let's figure out how tall that door opening would be. So we know that the Sorceress was 1.5 scale on here, and we know Tila was 5.63. So we can divide those two and figure out what the actual size of the door is. So let's do that. 1.5 over 5.63. Over, and our door was 1.58, and so we will find out what that door actually is in real life. So let's go ahead and multiply it out. 5.63 times 1.58 divided by 1.5. So the door is 5.9302, which means it's probably right around 6 inches. Let's take a look and grab He-Man here. Actually, let's see how tall the old door is. Here's the old door. Well, the old door is quite a bit taller because I've maxed out my scale here and it's at 6.8. And uh, I'm guessing though, because the way it's shaped with that dent, it's actually to this spot right here. So you can see right here how it doesn't show the, the bottom part of the door. So I'm guessing that measurement is actually from right here and that the door is probably bigger on the outside than it is on the inside. So let's go ahead and go from that measurement there. And let's take a look. And sure enough, from that measurement, it is just about comparable. It's 5.73. I could probably actually go a little higher at the peak of the door. So yeah. So if you were to measure from this spot right here up, which I'm guessing the door only shows us from here up, but the doorway itself is smaller, so that's probably what the issue is. So the door might be bigger, but the actual doorway itself looks like it's only uh, 5.93. So let's go ahead and measure He-Man and see if he'll fit in there. And he will fit in there because he is 5.8, looks like. So he, he will fit in that door, but just barely. So there you go. Now, of course, these measurements could be bogus completely because they might have just photoshopped her in there. And if they did, then none of these measurements matter at this point. They'll all be off because our scale we're using of the sorceress could be off. Um, I don't think she's photoshopped in there. You guys take a look and let me know what you think. Do you think she's photoshopped in there? I see a shadow right here on the side of her legs coming off on the, on the floor. So I don't think she's photoshopped in there. All right, you guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I am excited to get that new castle. It looks like the price will be somewhere between 80 to to $100 when it comes out. So that's good news. So I guess we'll see what we get. Still to be seen if it comes to the figure or not. I'm guessing it might because they showed it with the picture, but you never know. Sometimes they can do something else. All right, and I did update my Skeletor a little bit. I did uh, paint his uh, his shaft purple to match instead of the pink one the way it used to be. So there is my Filmation Skeletor. I might put a wash on his boots to match too, but we'll see. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. And uh, I'll just hang out here and have fun with my figures, my new He-Man. I have the power. Bye now. Like, subscribe, tell your friends.